This week in cross-cultural communication, we looked at the topic of international employee relations. In class, we looked at the challenges um, an organisation faces when communicating its identity across different cultures. Within a workplace, there are people from multiple cultures, multiple different backgrounds, and the way they want to be communicated with um, differs. As Westerners, we have this approach that English is the only language. Um, for example, if we were to go on holiday, we have an expectation that other countries will adapt to us and speak broken English to us. This isn't an approach that we can have, and um, many Westerners have the approach that if cultures don't speak English, it's a sign of weakness. In regards to, to specific employee performance, um, employers need to recognise uh, the value of employees, they need to know whether they want rigid working hours, flexible working hours, because um, each employee is different at the end of the day. They have different ways of being the most proficient and maximising their productivity. Employees want to know that their tasks are contributing to an overall organisation plan and that their contributions are being valued, they're getting honest feedback, respect and being recognised within an organisation. Having worked in industry placement and also just casual uh, cafe work and uh, restaurant work, I've worked under about three or four different managers and understand that within a workplace, the way in which um, employees are treated has a huge impact on the overall morale of staff and work productivity. Um, bosses need to be understanding of each individual person that they're, that is employed and the different ways in which they will react to different um, responses and different um, communication methods. Uh, that's, that's what I was able to relate to this topic about. I was able to really link in and see how my work, both in industry placement and just my casual um, cafe work really relates to employee relations.